This is chapter number two, Inside Our Earth. We are discussing Inside Our Earth. First, let us know some information. And this information says that the deepest mine in the world is in South Africa. It is about four kilometers deep. So, in search for oil, engineers have dug a hole about 6 km deep. And to reach to the center of the earth, which is not possible, you will have to dig a hole 6,000 km deep on the ocean floor. So, if this is our earth, then from this point to this point, that is the radius of earth is 6, 3, 7, 1, around, you know, this is the approximate value and for calculation purpose we take it as 6400 zero zero kilometer can you imagine how far from our earth crust where we are residing or living the center of the earth is we'll talk about all these layers so the earth which is our homeland it is a dynamic planet that means it's constantly changing inside and outside so, this is the interior of the earth. See, just like an onion, the earth is made up of several concentric circles with one inside another, that is different peels of onion. So, this uppermost layer or uppermost surface is called this crust. This uppermost is called as crust. And this is the thinnest of all the layers and it is about 35 kilometer from this point to this point, say from till here, it's 35 kilometer on the continental masses. But if we go to the oceans, ocean floor, it is only 5 kilometer. So this is ocean, this is continental. Here it is from this point to this point, it is 35 kilometers. Ocean, it's 5 kilometer. So the main mineral constituents of the continental mass, these are silica and alumina silica and alumina that is why we call it as cl si from silicon al from alumina the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium it is therefore called as sema silica si and Mag ma from magnesium and just below or just beneath the crust is the mantle here we have mantle after 35 kilometers around approximately, we get mantle in the continental space. So, just beneath the crust is the mantle which extends up to depth of 29,000 kilometers. From this point to this point, it's 29,000 kilometers below the crust. So, this is a picture of continental crust and oceanic crust. This is the oceanic crust. This is the uh, continental crust. So, the innermost layer is the core with radius of about 3500 kilometers. So, first 35, then 2900 and now 3500 kilometer. It is mainly made up of nickel and iron and it is called as DFE. Ni for nickel and Fe that is ferrous for iron. And the central core has very high temperature and pressure. So, the crust forms only 1% of the volume of the earth, 84% consists of the mantle and 15% makes the core. As, as I suggested you earlier, the radius of the earth is 6371 kilometer. So, there are certain words which are coming, rocks, around rocks like igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. So, how have they come? Igneous from Latin word ignis, which means fire. Sedimentary from Latin word sedimentum, meaning settle down. Metamorphic, Greek word metamorphose, it has come from. This means change of form. There is one more, more word which, has, which is going to come. That is fossils. The remains of the dead plants and animals trapped in the layers of rocks. These are called fossils.
so the rocks and minerals the earth crust is made up of various types of rocks so any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth crust this is called as rock okay and they can be of different types color uh, texture etc so in order uh, they are divided on into three main categories or types igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks now the when the melt molten magma cools it becomes solid and rock formed because of this they are known as igneous rock and they are also called primary rocks there are two types of igneous rocks first is intrusive rocks and the other is extrusive rocks so lava coming out of the volcanoes lava is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth interior of the earth so if uh, so this is a volcano so from interior of the earth this spills out magma like this so lava this is called lava 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 is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface and when this molten lava comes on the earth surface it rapidly cools down and becomes solid it becomes solid so rocks form in this way on the crust these are known as extrusive or outside igneous rocks so they have a very fine grain structure for instance basalt now the deccan plateau is made up of basalt rocks sometimes the molten magma cools down deep into the earth crust the solid rocks therefore are formed and they are known as intrusive igneous rock and since they cool down slowly as as against these one igneous extrusive igneous rock they form large grains so granite is an example of such a rock so grinding stones used to prepare paste a uh, powder of spices and grains are made up of granite so rocks roll down they crack they hit each other and they are broken into smaller fragments so these smaller particles these are known as sediments and these sediments they are transported and deposited by uh, various means like winds and water etc and these uh, loose sediments these are compressed and hardened to form the layers of rocks and these types of rocks are known as sedimentary rocks here is an example of sedimentary rock turned into metamorphic rock so the example of you can say sandstone is made from grains of sand so these rocks may also contain uh, fossils of plant animal and other microorganisms that once lived on them igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under uh, great heat and pressure for instance the clay changes into slate and limestone into marble rocks are very useful to us the hard rocks are used for making roads house and buildings and we also use stones in games for example pitu uh, stapu kitkit and gitti see these are two marvels of our country this is one of the world wonders of the world the taj mahal is made of white marble the red fort is made up of red stone so you will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes from one type to another uh, under certain condition in a cyclic manner so this process of transformation of rock from one part one form to another is known as rock cycle if you see here uh, we have already seen when the molten magma cools this molten magma cools it solidifies to become the igneous rock this igneous rock these igneous rocks the rocks are broken down into smaller particles that are transported and deposited to the sedimentary rocks so these are sediments so when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change they change into metamorphic rocks so these are sedimentary rocks we said sedi from sediments it became sedimentary rock and now it has it has changed form to metamorphic rocks so the metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure they melt down to form magma again this magma again 
So this mortar magma again can cool down and again solidify into igneous rock. So this is a whole cycle going on. This is called the rock cycle. So rocks are made up of uh, different minerals. Minerals are naturally occurring substance which have certain physical and definite chemical composition. Minerals are very important to humankind for us. Some are useful or used as fuels like coal, natural gas and petroleum. And they are also used in industries like iron, aluminium, gold, uranium, etc. in medicine, in fertilizers, etc. So this is all about this topic. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.